Joined today by Steve McDonald of uh, Our Man, of course, fresh from a fantastic documentary in TVCAR about your sparkling career and your All Ireland success, Steve. But I'm talking about the league and the preparation for the championship. Was it a good league? Was it a pointer towards the championship this year? Yeah, well, I think so. You know, over the last eight, nine years, you know, the league has always been a fair reflection how a team would generally perform uh, come championship time. And you have to look at the, the All-Ireland contenders and the favourites. Um, at this point, you have your Kerrys, your Dublins, your Mayos, and then Tyrone as well, a team that reached the All-Ireland semi-final stage last year. And the, while they got relegated last year, they're going straight back up this year, um, going through the league unbeaten, performing very well in the Division 2 final and you know getting themselves back to the level that they believe they should be playing at so I believe the teams that perform well in the league this year will be the teams that we'll be looking at once again come the later stages of the championship. Well the championship's only starting and uh, it's only a few weeks ago when I look at the, the provinces let's go through them let's start with Connacht is it going to be a shootout uh, between the likes of Mayo, Galway or have Roscommon really stepped up? I know they're probably going to make the final Roscommon, but have they got enough wherewithal to beat the likes of a Mayo or Galway? I think Mayo, have, or Mayo are always going to be the favourites, but the form that Roscommon showed throughout the league campaign um, is certainly a positive and a plus for, for themselves. They went to Cork, they went to Kerry, won convincingly there, very unlucky against Dublin. So, you know, the experience that they've gained this year with playing the top quality teams will stand to them come championship time. They will reach the Connacht final. The other side, you're going to have Galway and Mayo competing against each other once again. I fancy Mayo to come through there. I still believe that Mayo are they have the, all the experience and, and, and the knowledge to win Connacht and they will still beat a young team but a, a very improving team in, in Roscommon. Uh, the Monster Championship is now a wee bit like the Leinster Championship. A bit of a non-event, really, when you think about it. It'll be Kerry Cork. Who's going to win the shootout there? Yeah, well, Kerry and Cork, once again, kept in separate um, ends of the draw. The only upset I can possibly see in this championship is Tipperary maybe possibly beating Cork in a semi-final. Tipperary have great tradition over the last couple of years at underage level, um, getting to minor, minor and under-21 finals. And, you know, can they make the step up now at this stage? Um, it remains to be seen. Cork haven't been defeated just last weekend in the under-21 football final. We'll still have a number of those players coming through the senior ranks and sometimes that gives a team a fresh impetus as well. And I um, still believe, though, you're going to have the, the, the top two in Munster, Cork and Kerry, fighting it out for um, a provincial title. I think the fact that Kerry have been dominant over the last couple of years might go against them this year. So I think Cork might just pip the, the Munster crown this year. When you look at Leinster, you talk about Dublin uh, winning the league again for the fourth successive year. They're an unbeaten run of 22 games. And when you look at the Leinster Championship, it's hard to see them losing a game. Yeah, um, it's impossible. Uh, you know, the, the mindset of all the, the remaining counties in Leinster must be quite difficult. And, and uh, you know, frustrating at times to, to comprehend that the, for them to, to go and compete in a provincial championship they have to come, over, come up against the best team in the country. Um, it's not Dublin's fault, you know, at the end of the day Dublin are the, are the benchmark, they're the team that everyone wants to, to, to play against and, and perform against but unfortunately there's not too many teams in Ireland at the minute able to compete with them. Um, you know, the next best teams in, in Leinster are still the same though, you've got your Mead, uh, Meath, Leash and Kildare all capable of causing an upset but none of those teams are capable of coming close to Dublin and uh, Dublin once again are going to walk away with the Leinster title. Is it fanciful to say that Dublin might have a few weak links in around the full back line or are people just looking for something to try and say that this team isn't invincible? Well the thing is about Dublin you know we've been saying as far back as 2011 that their full back line was their weakest line and you know they still go and compete and, and win major titles year after year. I do believe that a team can get at them though and <clears throat> the likes of Tyrone, a young fresh team, plenty of legs, plenty of energy, they will never fear to uh, Dublin and the one thing about Tyrone is if they go far in the championship Dublin will actually fear Tyrone. Kerry, you know, played them last week in the National League decider. Kerry started off with a 35 and a 36 year old in defence weren't a million miles away, we were one point down when the 36 year old and Aidan O'Mahony get sent off and that's when Dublin actually pulled away. Kerry still won't fear them, Eamon Fitzmaurice is a shrewd manager, he'll look at the errors and the mistakes that they made in the National League final, he'll try to replicate or change uh, things slightly coming into the championship and 
you know, when they do eventually get the chance to meet Dublin again, and they will believe facing Dublin in the championship that they can beat them. Mayo, another team, threw at them last year in the All Ireland semi final, possibly should have beat them in the replay. You know, will never fear Dublin when they come come up against each other in the championship. Dublin can be got at. The thing that Dublin has at the minute is, you know, a huge belief. You know, they've got a fantastic manager, they've got a seriously strong bench. But, you know, they get a lot of luck on their side as well, and that counts for a lot when you come to the championship. We've gone through three championships, which we think would be fairly predictable, and then you go to Ulster. And is Ulster now getting a tad predictable? Because there's a few teams there that you would see as the heavy hitters, followed by others who still have a wee bit to go. Yeah, um, you know, it's still a minefield. Every game is going to be a, a hard battle and a hard slog, and, you know... The, the three teams that are head and shoulders above the rest in Ulster are Tyrone, who have come very good over the last 12 months again, Monaghan, the reigning champions, and, and Donegal, a team that will fancy themselves um, strongly to win an Ulster Championship, if, if not the All-Ireland as well. Um, the next best team in Ulster, you have to look at the legs of Cavan. Um, an improving side this year, done extremely well. They gained promotion from the Division 2 up to Division 1. And, you know, a side that's finally shown some positive signs from their under-21 successes of the, of the past five, six years. You know, I still can't see Cavan this year going and competing at that type of level, though, against the, the big three in Ulster. I think that it's going to be a case of the top players coming out in form. The likes of Sean Cavan, Conor McManus, Michael Murphy, those players, the go-to players in the top teams. And those will be the players, once again, that will win or lose the, the championship for their, for their teams. And I just believe that there's something unique building in Throne once again. You know, they've... they've won an under-21 All-Ireland in the last year. They've got serious momentum building after a great, a great league campaign this year and they'll go in with no fear in the Ulster Championship and they'll certainly take some beating. Now the Championship, the four provinces finish and then people say that you get to the real business end of the season. You know, Cork could easily lose, Kerry could lose, Throne could lose, Donegal could lose, but you still reckon you'll possibly, even with the backdoor system, have those heavy hitters in the last eight? You'll have the heavy hitters in the last eight unless they meet each other before, beforehand in a knockout stage. You know, you, the teams that I'm looking at in Ulster, you're going to have your Monaghan's, Donegal and Tyrone. Out of Leinster, you might have Meath creeping into the last eight. Um, by luck, you will have certainly of Dublin in there. You'll have Cork and Kerry from Munster. You will have Mayo for sure. Possibly a toss-up between Roscommon and Galway. If it was the select one now, I would go for Roscommon. So you're going to have the, the heavy hitters, the top teams, maybe with one surprise package sneaking in there, um, having get a, getting a good run in, in the backdoor qualifiers. You know, But when it comes down to the nitty-gritty of winning the key championship games and getting to the semi-final stages, you're going to have the top four teams. You know, When you look at last year's championship campaign, you had the top four teams reaching semi-finals. You're going to have the same... And something quite similar this year. You'll have your Corks, Kerry's, Dublin's, uh, Cor Tyrone's, Kerry's, Mayo's, and Dublin's, and they're competing again at that stage. And realistically, there's going to be no other team outside of those four or five teams that will go and, and win the All Ireland. I read an interesting article, uh, a lad put a different spin on it. He said that the GA several years ago decided that Dublin needed to have a strong team, invested a lot of money in it, and now he's saying the GA have created a monster but they're going to have to try and deal with because, again, you would say it's nailed on. It's Dublin's to lose, isn't it? There's no doubt about it. Dublin have, you know, the, the sponsorship bagging, uh, they have the, the finances, they've got the coaches, they've got the development squads, they've got everything basically going for them and, and recently developed Abbottstown. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to get full use of that as well, which gives them, I suppose, an advantage over the majority of counties in, in, in the country. But... You know, I look at the likes of Kerry and we have to remember that Kerry are always there or thereabouts. They're also sponsored by Kerry Group, you know, one of the biggest companies in the country and they will have plenty of financial clout as well. And Donegal always seem to be able to do well when it comes to the finances as well. And the likes of Mayo, t the top teams will always do well in the, on the financial side of things. But certainly when you look at the overall package that Dublin have, they are head and shoulders above everyone else. I don't believe that it's Dublin's fault, though. They ha maybe um, there has been a monster created, but I believe that you know, if a team can go and compete 
and really believe in themselves and compete against Dublin, then you know the tides could certainly turn. But um, Dublin are the team that are they are the benchmark at the minute. They've got all the top quality players, but. I know for sure if I was representing our man coming up against that Dublin team, I would cherish the, the opportunity to come up against some of those boys because I believe I would still be able to compete and, and take some of those boys on. Stevie, one word answers. The four provincial winners are? I'm going to go for Cork and Munster, Mayo from Connacht, Dublin of course from Leinster and I'm going to go for Tyrone in Ulster. I believe that they are the team that most of the big guns will fear the most this year. Um, believe it or not, and I do believe that they will back it up by winning Ulster. All Ireland champions. I'm going to go for an All Ireland final between Dublin and Tyrone, and anything can happen when those two teams are in the final. I'm I would slightly favour Tyrone to win it because they would have the fear factor when they get that far, and they would be the one team out of all the teams that Dublin will fear the most, and they have the running power to cope with Dublin. I think I'd have to agree. If you'd thrown it into the final against Dublin, certainly there'd be no fear factor there from Tyrone. Yeah, absolutely not. And, you know, Mickey Hart has rebuilt a brand new Tyrone team, but, you know, he's still as ruthless as ever. He, he calls the, the, you know, the big players aside if they're not performing well. He's got plenty of youth and freshness coming in from the bench. And, you know, Mickey Hart has a great reputation and, and great pedigree when it comes to all Iron Finals. And if they get that far, I can't see them losing one.